Steph Branch, a little introduction, the new player of Donar. Um, so far, a week in Groningen already. How are you doing? Yes, uh, I'm good, man. I'm enjoying the country. Nice people, nice team. Like the fans, like the games. So, really excited to get started. But you had a big trip. You played in Uruguay at last, but before you played in Belgium already. Yeah, I played for Antwerp for a year and a half. I came uh, the year COVID hit. We won the cup. And uh, the next season, played a little bit of Euro Cup and Belgian League, made it to the semifinals. So got a little history in the B next. And then it was Uruguay, and then probably you got a phone call from Dona. How does that work? Uh, I was at home, you know, just waiting for a team to pick me up. I was a little bit off injury, so I was, uh, you know, just working out, and they made the call, and I was excited, ready to get out here. Yeah, but you probably never heard of Dona before. Yeah, a little bit. We played them when I was at Antwerp, I believe, and then uh, just looked them up and seen it was a respectable club, a respectable program, so it's good to be here. And it's just a little period, of course, the rest of this season, but for Donor, it's a very important season, at least th this piece of the season. Yes, yeah, for both sides, for me also. Uh, you know, like I said, I got hurt, so this is like a big part of me being able to play basketball again, and I, I take this like really seriously. Also, you know, on the other side, Donar is, you know, trying to win some games, trying to trying to make some wins, and that's what I'm here to do. You know, I'm here to bring intensity and help this team out. Especially about that, what is it that you can bring to the team? Uh, I think I bring a lot of energy, defensive energy, uh, a lot of positivity. Uh, I'm loud. I'm sure you'll you'll see me out there making a lot of noise. So, um, I like to bring a lot of positive energy to the to the team. You were in the audience at the last home game that we played against Limburg United. Yeah. What did you see? There were more than 3,000 people. How was the ambience there? Uh, it was good. It was a great environment. I had my wife and my son with me, and they loved it. So, you know, it was, it was good to be around this environment again, a, a, a big, you know, kind of kind of like a college environment where it's like all the fans are, like, there. They play, show their love, and it's like there's no tipping this. There's nobody hiding or anything. Everybody's, like, showing their love for the program. And next week on Wednesday, we play a home game again against Antwerp. Then you're going to be part of the team, of course. Yeah, so I'm going to be on the other side of things. It's going to be fun to play against players I play with and, you know, the staff and all that. So it's going to be a trip down memory lane. Uh, did you see already a little bit of the, of the city and the people and the fans being, uh, have been eaten in the city or something? Uh, a little bit. I tried to go downtown. It was a lot of bikes. You know, I was a little, <laughs> I was a little nervous. But yeah, it was it's a, it was cool. It's been a little rainy, so I look forward to you know taking my son and my wife out there and uh, just enjoying the environment. We're all hoping that spring spring is coming uh, very soon, but still, it's a little bit rainy and sad weather in Holland. Uh, last week there was actually like a couple sunny days that kind of surprised me. I was a little excited, so hopefully that means there's good weather around the corner. You know, being from LA, you know, we're used to a lot of sunshine, so I'm hoping that we get that pretty soon in Donar. Yeah, LA is something completely different as Groningen. <laughs> yeah, completely different. Completely. How is it in LA right now? Uh, it's good weather. We had a little bit of a little bit of rain, actually a little bit of snow too, if you believe it. Yeah, but it's been a little up and down, so. Well, before I left, it got back to a little heat, so I'm hoping, you know, when I go back, it's going to be nice and sunny. Did you know anything about the other players of your team? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. But now you have, you get to know them, of course. Tell us something that we don't know yet about those players. Who's the most funniest guy? Uh, I don't know. Somebody might get mad. Uh, <laughs> Nah, I don't know. Everybody's pretty funny, you know. It's a good, it's a good group of guys. Everybody's it's like a family, family oriented. So, I really enjoy that part. It's, I've been really welcomed here, so it's been an honor to, you know, just be able to get with the guys and you know talk and be a part of the family. And what can we expect in the game from you? Hopefully, some highlights, man. Hopefully, I'm a, I like to, I'm a jumper. You know, I like to, I'm athletic. I like to run. Uh, so hopefully, a lot of high paced basketball. A lot of exciting plays and a lot of energy. Uh, a lot the advantage is, of course, because you played in Belgium before. You know the opponent. You know what kind of style Belgian uh, uh, players have. And now you've seen, of course, how they do it in Holland. So what do you expect from Dona in this last uh, part of the season? Uh, you know, I, f I feel like people tried to, or well, I don't know how it was, but before, when, before it became B-Next, it was kind of like, uh, it was like the Belgians were a little higher than the Netherlands, and it was just like, now actually seeing the basketball, I don't I believe it's like the same level and I really think that 
Dono has a really good club. I think the the team we have here is like really special, just knowing the competition in Belgium. And I think we could accomplish something really big. Well, let's hope we're gonna make it and uh, make a good uh, part of the season now so far and get as far as, as possible. Steph, uh, very welcome to the Dona family and I hope you enjoy it and bring Dona the, the success. I really appreciate it, really appreciate it. It's gonna be a good couple weeks down to get these last games in and make a run in the playoffs.